Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to set up OBS Studio to record HD gameplay and commentaries. So in this video I'm going to keep it as short and simple as possible so, so it's easy to follow. First up you need to download OBS, so head over to obsproject.com and download whatever install you need for your OS. In this case I'm on Windows so I would download the Windows installer. At the time of recording this video the version I am on is 21.1.2 so some things may change. Uh, if you're watching this video later. Once you finish downloading and installing it, open up OBS and this is what you're going to see. You can see a black box here. You're going to see, see a uh, box called Scenes and Sources and your audio mixer here. And what you need to do is head over to this settings button here and click it. From here, this is the general tab and we're not really going to touch anything in here. Uh, skip stream because we're not streaming and head over to output. And now you need to set the output mode to advanced. Go over to the recording tab. Now what we're going to do here is set the recording path. So I recommend recording either to a large fast hard drive or a large SSD. If you record to a slow hard drive, uh, what you're going to end up is with uh, you're going to end up with really choppy footage, and it's going to, going to look really bad. So I'm going to reset it to one of my uh, other hard drives into my recording folder. After that, select recording format and choose MP4. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to select two audio tracks, one for my uh, desktop audio and one for a microphone. Uh, if you wish to have another one for other things, for like your um, Discord or Skype or whatever, you can select three. But I'm not going to show that in this tutorial, maybe in a later one. Uh, for your encoder, you have two options, uh, X264 and NVENC H264. If you're on AMD, you should see an AMD option uh, called something else. Uh, I don't really exactly remember what it's called at the moment, but if you have AMD selected, uh, since I have NVENC H264, that is what I'm going to select. For your rate control, you can either choose CBR and set the bitrate to 50,000. That would give you nice high quality uh, footage. Or go to CQP and set this to around 18. And uh, for everything else, you can pretty much leave default. Go over to the audio tab and uh, set the audio bitrate to 320. Since I have two channels, I'm going to select the first two to 320. The rest I can leave because I'm not going to use them. Next, go over to the audio tab. Uh, for desktop audio, it should pick up everything by default, but I like to set it. So, usually just select your default speakers. I'm using my uh, Logitech G430 headset as my main uh, speakers, so that's what I'm going to select. For your microphone, select whatever microphone you have. I have a Razer Siren X, so that is what I'm going to select. Everything else you can pretty much leave default. Head over to video. Uh, base canvas, select whatever monitor resolution you have. I have a 1080p monitor, so that's what I'm going to select, 1920 by 1080 For your output scaled resolution, set it to whatever resolution you want to record at. Since I want 1080p video, I'm going to select 1920 by 1080 If you wish to have 720p video, you can select uh, 1280 by 720 that will give you 720p but since I want 1080 that's what I'm going to select now for downscale filter select a Langsos that will give you the best quality and for common FPS value select 60 FPS because that is pretty much the standard these days in hotkeys uh, this is all optional so if you wish to set them all up to whatever key bindings you wish you can go ahead and do that I pretty much only set the recording um, keys to F9 that's about all I use, so you can select those, you can set up whatever you wish, and pretty much you're done with all the settings. Click apply to apply all the settings, and press OK and exit out of the settings. Now to add a uh, scene, because you actually want to record a game. Uh, uh, one scene is already added, so you can pretty much leave that. Go into the sources box here, right click in it, hover over add, and press game capture. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, I usually just leave it game capture, and press OK. Now for settings in here, I usually just leave default. Um, it works best for me. I record uh, games at full screen, so that's what I'm going to use. And press OK. Uh, I'm going to show you a uh, game launched up in a second. After that is done, I'm going to show you some audio settings. So head over to the uh, mixer here. Press this little cog here. Go to filters. Right click, adds. And I recommend adding noise gates. And add that. This pretty much makes it so when you stop talking, the microphone pretty much mutes itself. 
and when, then when you start talking, it unmutes itself and you can, it can pick up your voice. Uh, you can play around with all these settings. I usually bump it up a little bit, just, in, just to, so um, it doesn't pick up any background noise. You can also add noise suppression. That will remove some background noise. I usually just leave it as uh, negative 30. That works best for me. And if you wish, you can also add a bit of compression here. Uh, again, you have to play around with all these settings. So this is going to be different for everyone. So I can't exactly show you. After that is done, go down to the audio cog again. Press advanced audio options. And since I have two audio tracks, you're going to need to select, deselect all these boxes here and select only one for each of the uh, audio channels here. So since my desktop audio is the first track, that is what I selected, track one, and mic is track two. So they're gonna be on separate channels. Once that is done, you pretty much set up OBS and now you can start recording games. So I'm gonna quickly launch up a game and show you what it's like. All right, now that I opened up a game, I've used, I'm using Overwatch as an example. Uh, here, as you can see, it's launched. I'm in windowed mode currently, just so I can show you uh, the settings. Uh, if you have a screen that isn't exactly uh, fit for here, what you need to do is right click on the game capture, transform and fit to screen and that will pretty much full screen it like that. And that's pretty much it. You have you can now record your gameplay. Now to record gameplay, all you need to do is press your bind you set earlier or go over to here and press start recording and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you did. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.